Hi everyone, it's me Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean and I'm here today to guide you through your yin yoga practice. I recommend for today's practice that you are dressed comfortably as always and that you have a strap or some sort of a makeshift strap and maybe a block or some books or something that you're using to help <clears throat> excuse me yourself with some for some support grab some water now or tea or coffee make your space comfortable we're gonna get started in Savasana we're actually gonna start class in just a couple minutes but if you have the opportunity to join me right now and lay down on your mat I'm just gonna turn all the volume off on my computer I'm gonna lay down in Savasana. Just start to get your mind wrapped around being present for today's practice. Make sure that you have your strap or a modified strap as well as if you want any blocks or bolsters or cushions or you know even if you don't know if you want those but you have them and you can bring them nearby or at least have some blankets or maybe pillows you can grab off the couch so that you don't have to stray too far away the more that you can relax during today's class the better during any in class in fact cool all right, so if you're here a little early, congratulations. Go ahead and lay down. Start working towards just clearing your mind. If you do have any aches or pains that you want to give yourself some personal stretches, maybe taking a little movement through your knees. Uh, just to help relax, knowing your body. No one knows your body like you do. Two more minutes till class actually starts. Just giving you the time. To start to get your mindset in the game. Just start to be aware of how your body's really feeling today. And not just your body, but also your mind. On whatever kind of day it was today, maybe it was the best day ever. And you have a lot of good stress, happy feelings, or maybe it was one of those days. And you have a lot of bad stress, whatever you're feeling, just let it go. Just notice your breath. And work to make that breath as relaxed as possible. All right, start working towards the concept of stillness. If you need to keep your knees bent, if your back is hurting, if you want to be in a little bit more of a supported savasana you need to do whatever feels best for your body today otherwise relax melt your body into the floor as much as possible let's go get <laughs> go ahead and get started hi it's me jessica your health fitness program manager from mclean and i'm here today to guide you through this yin yoga practice that's going to focus on finding some relaxation in our lower half particularly our quads our hamstring and our hips but we'll get a little bit of stretch into that upper body as well for now coming into corpse pose melting into the mat as much as possible First, take the time to tune into your breath. Make sure you're getting a long, slow, deep inhale all the way down to the bottom of your belly. And on every exhale, work to really push that last bit of stale air out. 
so that every inhale can be a little bit fresher, maybe even a little bit longer. And really work to make that exhale particularly a little bit longer than your inhale. As you find yourself relaxed in your breath, it's much easier to notice the sensations that you're feeling in your body. Use your breath to inhale in and just be aware. And use your exhale to let go of any expectations, any tension that you might be feeling, physical, mental, emotional. Just do your best to truly let go to be here in this moment in this breath in this part of the breath all the way up to the top of your inhale maybe even taking a moment with lungs full and then slowly let it all go scan your body once more from head to toe just notice how you're feeling notice where you might be harboring some tension do your best to continue to use your exhale to let it go. And I'm just going to grab the class that I wrote. Come right up over here. Awesome. Okay. Take your time with that strap that's nearby. Make sure it's accessible to your hands and Begin to walk your feet in if you didn't already find yourself enjoying a bent knee savasana. We're gonna keep, I'm gonna look like I'm doing the opposite of you because it's just really important as we start to get a little bit of movement in our belly, a little bit of compression, that you do the right side of your body first, especially with the knee to chest pose, anything similar to wind removing. Next up, we're gonna do a little happy baby because you want to make sure that you work the right side the ascending colon before you work the left side the descending colon okay so keep your left foot ground on the floor and feel free to even make a little loop with your strap it doesn't have to be fancy you can just stick half of it through so that you can put it around the sole of your foot as especially if you're feeling really tight, because we're gonna come into a half happy baby. Now perhaps you can reach up and grab hold of your foot. I know I can reach my foot, but we're working to relax the upper body as much as possible. So don't muscle through the stretch. If you don't have a prop nearby, but you can hold onto your pants or maybe bring your hands to the back of your knee. Come back to that super slow breath, really rooting all the way down through your diaphragm, keeping that lower back, the glutes relaxed down on the mat. And if it feels right for you in the stretch, you can always start to wiggle or walk your left foot out, but you can also keep that left knee bent to help you really glue your lower back down towards the mat and just start to come into whatever version of happy baby works for you. You can have a generous bend in your knee and you can keep this generous bend in your knee, but if it's possible for you today, go ahead, extend through that right leg heel. Maybe even taking a little bit of a point through the toes, relax your upper body as much as possible. Come back to your breath. The straighter your leg is, the more you're really gonna feel that stretch throughout the hamstring. Your knee can gently start to come towards the side, maybe even intentionally opening towards the side, getting a little bit more into your hips, into the hip flexor, into the inner outer thighs. Really depending on how tight you're feeling today, and personally, I know I'm feeling really tight. It's finally getting nice outside. Pushing myself to get outside and enjoy 
a lot more walks, a little bit of running. Let's take three more breaths right here. Just making sure that you found yourself in some sort of a noticeable stretch, but not feeling any sort of pain. And as you come into the stretch, being as still as you possibly can, both with your body and your mind. Use your next inhale to bring your right leg back up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, go ahead and release the sole of the right foot back down to the floor. If you happen to extend your left leg out because you have that flexibility, bring your left leg back in as well. Take a moment re-grounding with your knees bent, gluing your whole back down on the mat, even taking a slight tucking of your chin towards your chest to get as much as the back of your head and your neck vertebrae flat on the mat. Before we get started on the other side, remember to remove any expectations that you might have. Flexibility on the right side can be very different from flexibility on the left side. So please just find the stretch that feels good. Go with what your body can do today. Whatever you did in the past is what you did in the past. And whatever you do today is what you are meant to do and your best is always enough. So let's go ahead and get started. Find that rooting through your right foot down on the floor, a little draw in of your belly as you begin to bring your left knee in towards your chest. Option to use that strap or a towel or a t-shirt or whatever you might have to come into a version of happy baby that works for you. Your knee can gently start to come to the side, that left knee, you can take as generous of a bend as you want to and find some relaxation of that upper body once more. In the stretch, just ask yourself, where do you feel it? Do you feel some sort of a noticeable stretch somewhere through your left lower half? Really focus your attention on bringing some relaxation into your chest, into your shoulders, even into your hands holding onto the strap. If it feels good, if it feels ready for you, you can extend your right leg out just a little bit. We'll take three more breaths before we find some extension through that left heel. And just a reminder, you're doing the best you can with your body today. Yes, we're working to be in some version of happy baby. Maybe you're looking at me thinking that doesn't look like happy baby. Well, I'm feeling really tight, okay? So feel free to close your eyes. Be guided by the description of the asanas and postures and use your exhale to stretch through your heel. Find a little bit more of a stretch on the back of your leg, on your hamstring. Maybe you even need to bring that right leg in, right heel closer towards your glute for a little bit more support. Find a little flex through your toes. And if it feels good, start to drop that left leg out to the side.
use your next inhale to draw that knee back in towards your chest. Once again, release the strap from your foot. Find some grounding of the left foot down on the floor next to your right. And once again, glue your lower back to the mat. Come back to your slow breath. Melt your back and shoulders, your neck, the back of your head into the mat. time move with an intention whatever way feels best for you we're going to sit ourselves up maybe rocking yourself up gently like a ball you can even really focus on rocking a couple times maybe rolling over onto your side gently pressing yourself up From here, we're going to come into full dragonfly. So extending both of your legs out as wide as feels comfortable for you today. And maybe what feels comfortable for you today is just a little bit wider than your hips. If this is too much on the back of your legs, remember you can sit up on a prop, on a block, on a pillow, on a folded towel to help relieve a little bit of pressure from the back of your legs, or just take a teeny little bend in your knees. Or maybe you need to take a more dramatic bend of your knees. Maybe you can be honest with yourself and open your legs just a little bit wider. And then we're going to find some relaxation with the upper half of our body. Pardon me as I look at weird things on the carpet. That's why we can close our eyes. Because remember, if your eyes are moving, your mind is moving. So work to really root through your glutes. Even think about pressing the backs of your thighs down into the floor. If the floor feels really far away, remember, you can use your props in front of you. We'll spend just a couple minutes right here, hanging out in whatever version of full dragonfly feels good for you. It's okay if your toes gently start to fall in. Maybe your body feels good with your toes stretching out. Just find a place that you can hold with a noticeable stretch and simply relax that upper body. Relax your mind, relax your breath. Take that scan from head to toe and just notice if you are holding any extra tension. And where? And exhale to bring space into those places that just feel so tight. One more minute right here. No need to go any deeper than you are. Just continue to focus on your stillness.
See if you can make your breaths even slower. found a gentle forward hinge take your time lift yourself up walk yourself back to center move your props out of the way go ahead and fold those legs in we're gonna come next into tabletop and enjoy a little bit of cat cow so get your palms underneath of your shoulders and stack your hips on top of your knees. If you're having any discomfort in your wrist, remember you can always make a knuckle and place those knuckles on the floor. That can take some of the tension out of the wrist. And that also can help to encourage you to think about really straightening the arms. Keep your elbow creases shining towards each other. Straighten those arms though, make sure you're not sinking down in with your head. So a nice active back press into your knees into the tops of your feet really find a big arch of your back as you come into cat and the next time you change your breath keep those arms nice and straight begin to pull your chest forward towards your biceps look up towards the ceiling still pressing the knees and the shins into the floor tops of feet Feel that separation of your glutes. One more time, come on back into cat. Feel that tucking of your pelvis, chin towards your chest. And change your breath, come once more into cow. All right, keeping those hands palms on the floor. We're gonna come into dragon, into a hip opener. Let's take a moment, tuck your toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling. Just pedal through your heels. Enjoy a nice stretch through your calves in down dog. You can take a really generous bend towards your thighs. Uh, so maybe it even seems a little more like bare with your knees close towards the floor if this is really tense on your shoulders. But if you can, send your hips towards the back of the room, belly towards your glutes. Find a little more straightness through your legs and feel free to continue to pedal through your heels, even shifting your hips gently from side to side. Awesome. Let's come back down onto our knees. And we're gonna bring the right leg forward. Right leg forward, keep your hands on the outside of your foot. If you're having trouble reaching the outside of the foot, you can always bring a block there. And take a moment to keep your back toes still tucked. So if you automatically went and flattened your foot out, take a moment and re-tuck that back foot. Just find a little bit of pressure of the back foot into the floor find a little bit of a squeeze of the glute and take a noticeable squeeze of that right leg glute as well really press your heel into the floor find a little bit of length shoulders away from ears some engagement of that abdominal core and try to keep your hips square towards the mat on your next exhale, untuck your back foot, press the top of the foot into the floor. We're gonna bring this right hand towards the inside of our, our foot this time. So maybe your knee gently starts to come out towards the side, totally okay. Or maybe you're pressing your knee against your shoulder to find a little bit more support and stability in this hip opener.
Take two more breaths here. We're going to come back to this in just a couple minutes. You continue to move with some intention. Maybe starting to shift your hips back towards your heels. Maybe a gentle wiggle of that right foot back to meet with your left. Once again, come on into tabletop. Shake out any tension you feel with some cat cow. Notice just where do you feel it more? Do you feel more tense in your shoulders? Do you feel more tense in your hips? If you are feeling more tense in your shoulders, give yourself some real noticeable shoulder circles. Maybe bringing your shoulders forward of your fingertips even to really engage that upper body since you know we're going to stretch the lower body again in just a moment. All right, two more breaths of whatever you want. And then keep that right leg ground on the floor. You can even tuck that toe under, getting the ball of the foot placed down as you step your left foot foot forward and start with your hand on the outside of the left foot. If you have trouble reaching the left foot, bring some sort of a prop there. Start to really press through the left heel. Start to feel the left glute fire up. See if you can create some space with your shoulders away from your ears. And start pressing your right knee down into the floor as well. Find a little firing through that glute but as much relaxation of your upper body, as much length as you possibly can. Keep any extra wrinkles out of your neck, so try not to crook your neck to look up. Find a gaze down towards the floor, even if your eyes are closed. Go ahead, untuck your back toes, press a little bit more of that back foot into the floor and walk your left hand inside of your left foot. Maybe that left knee starts to fall heavy out towards the side or maybe you're bracing your left knee against the left shoulder. Still make sure you're pushing through the left heel into the floor. Take one more big inhale and on your exhale, maybe shift back just a little bit. Go ahead, bring your two knees together or separate them gently as your toes come together. Walk your hands forward and your hips back. We'll take a couple breaths here in child's pose and then we'll revisit that same hip opener and bring it into a quad stretch. Enjoying whatever version of child's pose works for you, just finding a noticeable stretch and just noticing where you find the stretch. All right, on your next inhale, pull yourself back up to tabletop. And once again, bring your right foot forward. Bring the right foot this time to the outside of your hand palm, yes. And then notice if you started turning your uh, opening up towards the left side and bring your hips and square them with the mat. All right, if the floor feels far away, feel free to place a block on the floor. And I would recommend placing the block under the opposite hand that you have forward, because we're gonna use the same hand that you braced against possibly the inside of your knee for a little bit of a quad stretch. All right, so keeping that back knee 
the left knee down on the floor and your hips square down towards the mat. You're going to take a bend of that left knee. You can lift yourself up and reach back with your right hand for your left foot. And if you can't grab it, thankfully your strap's still nearby and you can always put that strap around your left foot. You're going to turn towards whichever leg you have bent forward and relax those shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you can even ooh, bring that, bring your fingers to wiggle the strap a little bit closer to bring the stretch more towards the back leg on the floor, the top of the thigh, the quad of that leg. And maybe your front knee is starting to come towards your, your toes or even gently past them or fall out towards the side and that's okay. We're gonna take about five more slow breaths right here. You're either in the same stretch that we did a couple minutes ago, just finding a nice hip opener, or you join me in this nice quad stretch. If your eyes are open, you found one spot to focus your eyes. Three more breaths. Gently turn back towards the front, release that strap. This time bring your hand to the outside of your foot and gently start to walk your hands towards your left knee as you extend your right leg forward. You can keep your toes down on the floor. If you're feeling really tight, you might not be able to reach down to the floor with your hands. And it's okay if there's a lot of space here. But if you're feeling good, go ahead, bring those hands to the floor. Maybe even relax yourself all the way down. Because remember, this is again, we're trying to relax here. Your toes can come up off the floor and flex towards your face to bring a nice stretch towards your hamstring. Maybe you were able to sit all the way down. Maybe you're still hanging out with that leg nice and straight. We'll take five breaths wherever this feels like a noticeable stretch on the back of your extended front leg. sat yourself all the way down. Use your next inhale to lift yourself up. Bring that toe back towards the floor. Take a moment. Shift your weight forward once more. Last hip opener on this side. Bring your hands down to the floor inside of your foot and go ahead. Bring that right leg back to meet with the left. You might need to walk your hands in a little bit closer. Shake it out just a little bit. Find what feels good. Any version of cat cow. And then let's go ahead and get the other side of the body. So take the strap off of your left foot. Maybe you want to put it on your right foot now. Or, or maybe you'll be able to reach that right foot easily and you would like to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay. So hands, palms on the floor, we find ourselves back in tabletop and we're going to bring the left, we're going to bring the left foot forward this time and we're going to bring our hands inside, right? Yeah, inside. As you find that little shift forward, 
Now, if you're feeling really flexible, you can always come all the way down towards the floor and still find this great stretch. I'm not feeling super flexible today, so I'm gonna place my right hand on top of the block. I'm gonna turn towards my front bent knee, bend the back knee and reach back and just see if I can grab it. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're doing these stretches today so that maybe next time we will feel a little bit more flexible. Maybe we won't need the strap later. Maybe, no guarantees, it's just practice. All right, so if you had to take a moment to readjust, we're coming back into our big hip opener. Have one hand palm ground on the floor to open the chest as you turn towards your front thigh. Bend your back knee and really press that back knee into the floor. There's still a squeeze of the glute that's gonna help you feel that firing up of your right quad this time. Five breaths right here. It's okay if that left knee starts to fall heavy out towards the side. See how still you can be, how noticeable of a stretch you can create. And remember, shaking and trembling is normal. your next exhale gently release that right foot back down towards the floor ah, turn in towards your left leg and bring your left hand to the outside of that left foot start to walk your hands back as you stretch your glutes back towards your hip if that feels too much for you you can lift your chest up bring your hands to your hips and just Experiment with sending your hips back to feel that big stretch through your quad. You can still experiment with flexing your toes back to your face. If that doesn't feel like enough of a stretch for you, hinge forward more at the hips. The more that you bring your knee towards the nose, the more you're gonna feel the stretch. And if it feels comfortable, feel free to sit down a little bit more. Because sitting down a little bit more, coming into some sort of a runner stretch, is just gonna bring another stretch towards that right quad. You're welcome. Getting both at the same time, just depending on how your body feels. Five breaths right here. You don't feel a stretch on the back of that leg remember hinge forward bring your nose a little closer to your knee we got three breaths left use that next exhale if you sat all the way down lift yourself up Bring the weight forward, one more big hip opener. And then bring your two knees together. You can even cross your ankles, maybe walk your knees up towards the top of the mat, cross your ankles and then sit back onto your glutes. Yeah, you remove that strap from below you. Take your time and go ahead, lay down on your back. All right, as you make it here to your back, firmly plant your feet to the floor. We're gonna take a nice teeny little spine twist. You might need to really ground the feet, lift the upper back up to roll over onto whichever side feels right for you to get started. 
If there's any discomfort with allowing those knees to hang heavy down towards the floor, think about maybe placing a block under your knees or between your legs to help you more comfortably stack your hips and see if you can relax your opposite shoulder to the floor as much as possible. You can do whatever feels right with your arms and if you want an extra little stretch, look in the opposite direction of your knees. And then use your exhale to melt your upper body into the mat as much as possible. On your next inhale, go ahead, come back to center, ground those feet back on the floor, press into them, lift your hips up and gently roll to the opposite side. Experiment with whether you'd like a prop on this side or remember both sides of the body are different. So how would a prop help you feel as relaxed as possible, working to bring both shoulders flat on the floor. Take the tension out of your lower back. On your next exhale, roll onto your back once more, ground your feet, glue your lower back to the mat and relax your arms down by your side. We're going to come into a full, a fuller version of happy baby. If that is feeling like too much for you, go for it. Legs up against an imaginary wall. Really make sure that your belly is pulled in and that your lower back is down on the mat as much as possible. You can draw one knee in towards your chest at a time and it's okay if your knees don't come anywhere towards your actual chest, if that means keeping your lower back down the mat. So maybe your knees are still stacked right on top of your hips and that's totally okay. You can work to send your legs up towards the ceiling. You might need to open your knees a little bit wider. You can always bring your hands towards the back of your legs. If you want to, you can still grab hold of your strap, which is presumably nearby, and just apply a little bit of pressure of your feet into the strap and just see how much easier it is to keep that lower back supported. To take the muscling out of your shoulders, relax your shoulders, relax the back of your head. Even feel that lower belly start to relax as it knows that your back is feeling supported by the mat. You can just continue to stay right here and focus on your breath.
Keep thinking towards using your exhale to melt that tailbone a little bit deeper into the floor. Come back to the relaxation in your chest and your shoulders. Make sure you're not stretching your chin up towards the ceiling to get as much of your neck vertebrae flat on the mat. And remember that any shaking or trembling happening through your lower half is normal. That's what we're going for, just finding a little bit more connection and just waking up joints, tissues, fascia, skin, ligaments, even our bones. That's why we use our breath to come into these stretches a little bit longer. All right, let's take three more breaths right here before we'll come into our final savasana. You can find some support coming into final savasana by bringing your heels and toes together and then gently releasing those down on the mat. If you didn't have a strap, you can do it one leg at a time. You're welcome to hang out in reclined bound angle with your heels together and your knees apart for an extra little stretch into those hip flexors. Or go ahead, extend your legs out nice and straight. Get any of your last fidgets out Make sure you find something sustainable that you can hang out in for the next three minutes. Take this time to come back to your breath. Start from the top of your head as you scan your body all the way down towards your toes and ask yourself, where can you relax more? And as you start the scan, just take notice, do you feel different than when class started? Maybe you don't feel any different and that's okay. Or maybe you notice that your heart rate has slowed down. That it's easier to find a calm breath that you're quicker to notice where you're feeling tense so you can bring your breath to those spots and encourage relaxation. Maybe your mind is just calmer than it was 43 minutes ago. All right, y'all, you are welcome to stay here in this final savasana for as long as continues to honor your body. However, if you would like to close out class together, you're also welcome to take the time to make your way up to a seated position of your choice. When you get there, bring your hands palms to the center of your chest with your thumbs 
touching on your sternum in Namaskar and bring your chin to your chest as you take a moment and reflect on today's practice to honor yourself for showing up on the mat today, to thank your body for whatever it was that it brought forward. Check in with that breath one more time. If it feels good, you can bring your thumb to your third eye, to your drishti, and lift your face, lift your heart, open yourself once more to all the possibilities that are out there. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that I said or we did, I hope that you would reach out. Till you see me again, please continue to think good thoughts, to eat good foods, to speak good words, and do good deeds, to nourish yourself from the inside to the out. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and know that the light within me honors and sees the light within you. Namaste.